So, no Shelly and Fraser Price until the Jamaican National Championships, June 27th to 30th. I'm not making a statement, people. I'm asking an obvious question. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, she's arguably the greatest female sprinter of all time. We're talking about none other than the legendary Shelly Ann Fraser Price. The five time world champion in women's 100 meters and the sec third fastest woman all time in that event. So, where is she? Why aren't we seeing Shelly Ann Fraser Price? Now, this is the discussion that has been happening for quite some time. I've seen it on seen it on many platforms. And the truth is we have kind of talked about it in bits and pieces so far for the 2024 season. In fact, I developed a sort of thesis. Uh, two years ago when she hit, I believe, the age of 35, that said we would see her running less and less races as she got a little older for kind of obvious reasons. We will talk about that in a few. However, I am still hoping against hope that we will get to see Shelly and Fraser Price run at least one or two races prior to the Jamaica National Championships which takes place on June the 27th to the 30th at the Jamaica National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. They're all going to have to be there. And since this is her swan song, so to speak, we anticipate fireworks. Now, remember last year, the first time we actually saw her run because of injury issues was at the Jamaica National Championships, where she ended up second in the 200 meters finals. White, Davis, Fraser Price, Forbes, Thomas, Jackson, Start. Williams, air of expectation around this one and a sent away cleanly this time. A very good start from Shelley and Fraser Price. Also Sharika Jackson in lane seven. It's Fraser Price and Jackson. Fraser Price has actually blown off this turn, but here comes Sharika Jackson, the fastest living woman over 200 meters, the world champion, Sharika Jackson. Her personal best is 21.45. What does she produce tonight? 21.72. She was unable to repeat her remarkable feat in 2022 when she won her fifth world championship title in the women's 100 meters, but did take a splendid bronze medal in 2023. Watch for Shelly Ann Fraser Price getting out well, and she has done. She's bidding for a fifth world title, and she's going to do it. Shelly Ann Fraser Price from Elaine Thompson. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. So, will we see Shelly and Fraser Price run in a 100 or a 200 meters? Heck, I'll take a 400 meters prior to the Jamaican National Championships, which happens on June the 27th to the 30th at the Jamaican National Stadium. Answer, I have no idea. I have no idea. Truth is, um, as much as I would like to see her run, I'd rather see her run at the Jamaican National Championships. I'm going to tell you why. If my calculation is correct, this young lady is now 37 years of age. Now, that's a very, very young human being. But in track and field, that's an abnormally mature age to still be running sub 10.7s. Sub and I kind of think, based on what I'm hearing, is that she's in really good shape. Now, the truth is, logistically, because it takes a little longer for one to recover from injury, minor or severe. And given what happened to her last year, because I believe she would have been a, a, a much bigger factor last year had she not been injured early in the year. But because of her age, it took a little longer to recover. Don't believe me? Check the signs. So if I am her um, coach at this point, I would not be taking any unnecessary chances. I don't think I'd need her to be running any races unless it's just for ring rust. And last year she did pretty well opening up her season at the Jamaica National Championships. She did very well. Injured, she still came third and collected a bronze medal to, to add to her already insane tally. Emotionally, would I love to see her run before that? Of course! Of course, we all want to see her run before that. She's Shelly and Fraser Price. 
And as far as we know, this may be her very last Olympic Games and maybe her swan song in terms of her actual sprinting career. But honestly, people, I really don't think we will be seeing her running anytime soon until the Jamaican National Championship. Now, of course, someone might see this video and I may be proven to be completely wrong in just a few weeks. We may hear in a few days that she's going to be running somewhere else. And I'm going to be very frank with you. I don't have a huge ego. So if I'm wrong, I have no problems with that. In fact, I'd like to be wrong in this instance because all of us, all of us love seeing this young lady sprint. She is a sight to behold. She is the definition of the impossible dream. Shelly and Fraser Price has been doing the impossible for what, 14 years now in track and field? Still going strong. Shelly and Fraser Price ran that 10.60, the third fastest 100 meter run all time, I think at the age of 34 or 33. That is not usual, people. That is a very unusual thing to do. Outside of, I don't know, the other great Jamaican, Merlin Otti, who was running up until her 50s and still making top 10 in terms of um, uh, uh, um, track and field in the 100 meters, which is really crazy. That, that's just, that makes no kind of sense logically. But or 40s, maybe 50s is an exaggeration. Sheldon Fisher Price is an exceptional human being. And I want to be wrong in this instance. I really want to be wrong. I want to, within an hour of putting out this video, I want to hear, hey, you were wrong. Shelly and Fraser Price, if you're going to be running in something prior to the Jamaican National Championships. But I'm saying I'll take it. If that's the only place we get to see her run, I'm fine. She's the world's greatest. The only thing missing is perhaps a world record. Third fastest all time, most decorated female, most decorated sprinter not female period i still think she's the best so will we see her run before the jamaica national championships i have no idea truth is honestly just like you i would really like to see her run but this of course is my two cents what do you think do you all think we're going to be able to see her run before the jamaica national championships and do you think it matters if she runs before the Jamaican National Championship? I know that all of us, all of us want to see her run. But what are your predictions? Do you think I'm going to be completely wrong and in a few hours of putting out this video, you're going to hear that she's running a meet next week. And like I said, this is one time I really want to be wrong. And more importantly, where do you see her on the podium? I know that's hard to assess because we have not seen her run a race, but we know she's going to be fired. We know she won't be fired. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Remember, you are royals. You're kings and queens. Bless up.